We're all here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to protest against this assault on our democracy. And it's a democracy for everyone, especially the young, who have so much to lose, who have spent so long seeing that the institutions that their parents and grandparents fought and built for being denigrated and dismantled by an egotistical elite of Johnson, Rees Mogg and Dominic Cummings. Shutting down Parliament is just Boris being self-serving and frankly, it's a disgrace. This is not a consensual government. You have to think about the people at the heart of this government. It is being run by, as David Cameron described him, a career psychopath. <laughs> is outrageous. Please rally round it. We should be proud of our democracy and acts like this absolutely go against a democratic Britain. Another thing that we could call this, and most ironically, <laughs> this is taking back control. When parties from across the opposition got together, and I signed as well, the Church House Declaration, that was a great signal of solidarity. That is hope. This is hope. This next week, we will see all of us in opposition, and trust me, I work across the House to try and stop this, because we cannot have no deal. I have said since I arrived in Parliament, no deal, no way. No deal Brexit. Let me just quantify it. The car industry has cost 350 million pounds so far. This means a loss of investment, this means a loss of capital that could be going into Gaydon or Whitley or into Erdington at Castle Bromwich for our Jaguar factory up the road. It means a threat to the supply of medicines to our NHS. It's a threat of the food supplies to our local authorities, to all of us, but to our schools and so on. So local authorities are facing huge cuts. Let us also take some lessons from the people of Algeria and Kashmir and Hong Kong who are protesting peacefully against governments that want to shut down free speech. But whatever your politics, whether you're of many parties or none, whatever your political persuasion, you must be against this and outrage of democracy. Indeed, even if you're for no deal, I would disagree with you, but even if you were for that, you cannot support this. We have the force of our ideas. They only have the idea of force. That if we don't protest it, if we allow our government to be shut down in order to push through what Boris Johnson and his rich lobbyist friends want, we are on a very, very slippery slope. Child poverty is on the rise. You walk through Leamington, more and more sleeping bags in doorways every day. More and more people relying on food banks to get by. Our society is broken and we have to, be, we have to do better. Be part of the job and to have a future where democracy means something. Boris is, isn't the Prime Minister I'm looking for. Down with Boris. Yeah! We will do our utmost to stop a no deal Brexit. We want to restore our democracy. We want to see this abuse of power stopped. It is incredibly moving to see so many of you here. Thank you so much for demonstrating today, showing me how important this is to you. And rest assured that I will speak out on your behalf. We are people power. This is what democracy looks like. I want a future of freedom. I want to be European. Some of my friends are European, and I will not stand to say goodbye to any of my friends. Our environment is crumbling. If we don't work together now, the future of our world is over. My best friend has made a chat. No!